today I'm reviewing the Skin Aqua Super UV Moisture Barrier Essence SPF 50. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'm never waste time sponsored ads or videos. So that's something you're into. Like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, click on the links below and subscribe to my newsletter. Lincoln is here, but he is uh, preoccupied. Lincoln, you want to say hi? No. He was in one video for the week, so I guess I guess that's all we get with our allowance. So, okay, so they say offering broad spectrum sun protection SPF 50 PA plus 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 plus. This waterproof and sweat resistant chemical sunscreen comes in an essence like consistency that glides seamlessly onto skin. The watery gel formula is enriched with sodium hyaluronate and other moisturizing ingredients to keep the skin hydrated, free of mineral oils, parabens, fragrances, and artificial colorants. And I have a little bit of a disagreement with that, but we'll get there in a second. So, uh, okay, so I'm actually, I'm wearing this underneath my uh, foundation today, so you can kind of see what it might look like under makeup. Um, okay, in terms of the packaging, we've got a packaging squeeze tube. It's pretty though, I like the coloring and the, the aesthetic look of it, it looks really pretty. I'm into that. Um, in terms of denatured types of alcohol, it does contain um, ethanol or alcohol, it's the third ingredient on the list. Uh, if you have drier skin or sensitive skin, you can kind of um, make that not as big of an issue by using a good moisturizer underneath it. That's what I've found anyway, and a good hydrating serum. Uh, if you use those, this won't feel as drying. Uh, a lot of Japanese sunscreens use a good amount of alcohol in them. It helps it spread, it helps it absorb, it helps it uh, set better and quicker and dry faster so there's a lot of reasons for it and I uh, I kind of I kind of am you know if it's like a serum or a toner with a bunch of alcohol in it, that's one thing but for sunscreen I kind of forgive them because there is actual reasons to use it and uh, may, some people with super sensitive or very dry skin might not be the best combination when you add in chemical filters so keep that in mind maybe do a patch test things like that so there are some reasons that make it a little bit more reasonable in a uh, sunscreen. Uh, okay, in terms of fragrance, so I mentioned there's no artificial fragrances, and I will say this does contain one ingredient that I do see often in other products that it doesn't give a scent to. That's triethylhexanone, and it's more of a um, it's a smoothing ingredient and kind of can be used to help the product smooth over skin and absorb. So it has a barely discernible scent, but it's almost like a little bit of fruit in a baby powder mix, baby powder mixture of a scent that's barely discernible and barely noticeable. And um, I tolerate it okay. Typically, a lot of strong fragrance either give me migraine or irritate my skin, and I didn't have this issue with this. And the scent does dissipate pretty quickly, but keep that in mind. So this ingredient, it's used in a lot of products and typically it won't give them a scent. So I don't know why in this specific product it is so noticeable. I think maybe because it's higher up the ingredient list. Um, and so keep that in mind. But uh, for me, I didn't have any issues with it, but I mean, some people might be more sensitive to it, especially when you add in the alcohol and the chemical filters. So keep that all in mind when you make your decision or just be sure to do a patch test. So. Um, okay, in terms of manufacturing location, this one is made in Japan, so no issues with that. So for the uh, SPF, we've got SPF of 50 plus. I typically recommend at least 30 on a daily basis year round. So 50 is great. And 50 plus, I think in Japan means it's, there's a system for it, but even, even better, much, much better. Uh, okay, in terms of the UVA protection factor, we've got uh, PA with four pluses, which is the highest you can have for their rating system. For UVA filters, we've got Tinsorb S, which is a UVB and UVA ray absorber. We've got Uvenal A+, plus, which is a UVA specific ray absorber. And then we've got Tinsorb M, which is a hybrid filter that reflects both UVB and UVA filters. Tinsorb M sometimes can give things a bit of a white cast. And uh, I'll test this out in a second, but there is no real white cast with this, so that that's uh, nice. So, uh, okay, so in terms of the other filters we've got in here, so we've got those, we've got octanoxate, which is a clear oil-soluble uh, chemical sunscreen that absorbs UVB rays. We've got Tinsorb S, UVB and UVA filter, absorbs uh, both of those. 
We've got uh, Tinserv M, UVB, and UVA ray reflector. And then we've got Uvenal T150, which is very photostable UVB filter. So it's got a nice amount of filters in here. They all do a great job. I haven't got red or pink using this. It's springtime, so sometimes in spring, the sun can really burn you because you're not used to it. Well, if you're in Minnesota or some states, you're not used to seeing the sun for like five months. So you certainly can get burnt very quickly in spring, and I haven't had any issues with that, so keep that in mind. Okay, so in terms of white cast, so I'm pretty fair. So keep that in mind because that may affect my experience with it. But um, smooth it into skin. I don't notice any white cast. Although, honestly, looking at it through the camera lens on the camera, I do see a white cast that I don't notice when I apply it to my face. So that's kind of interesting. So I would say there is a slight white cast. It's not going to be terrible. And uh, once it absorbs more, it'll probably not be as noticeable. But if you're very uh, deep skin, deep skin toned, it might be more noticeable. Although some tone up sunscreens like that and people like it because it brightens them up. So there you go. So for me, it applies pretty clear in the longer. It's just interesting. Cameraman, do you know why looking at it on the, from the lens onto the TV, why it would be much more noticeable white cast than when I'm just putting it on in my bathroom? Is there something with the camera or technology or? No. Okay. It just looks much more noticeable when I look at it on the TV from the camera than when I'm just putting it on the bathroom. Different light, maybe? Different light, yeah. Yeah, that, that could be it. Because, I mean, if you look at my other hand, it's certainly noticeable. So, okay. Well, there you go. So, if that were tone-up cream, people would pay for that, which I, I really am not a fan of tone-up creams. So, for the texture, it's got a really nice lotion texture. It absorbs pretty quickly. It sets to a radiant finish that is just slightly tacky but not terribly so there's a lot of other sunscreens that are much more sticky and tacky and i don't have any issues with that uh, in terms of the ease of use of this one so the texture makes it very easy to apply it liberally which i like there's some sunscreens that are so greasy or so thick sometimes mineral sunscreens are so thick it makes it very hard to apply it liberally and not look terrible and this one i didn't have any issues with and it layered nicely over moisturizers and other serums um, I did find I needed to set this with a little bit of powder just to prevent it from getting shiny during the day. But otherwise, um, very easy to use and very easy to apply and very shiny. Uh, okay, beneficial ingredients. So we've got, we've got a few. We've got astralagus, which is an antioxidant. It's actually a medicinal herb used in China. It, uh, it's used for liver protecting, anti-hyperglycemic, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antiviral properties. And uh, the manufacturer also claims for skin it has anti-aging and anti-acne properties. So it's uh, obviously eaten or taken as an herb or herbal supplement in China. And uh, in addition to those, they say, hey, it's great for your skin too. That's a manufacturer saying it. They want to sell it. So they're not going to say, hey, this sucks. It doesn't do anything for your skin. Uh, so anyway, so do your own digging and come to your own conclusion on it. We've got sodium hyaluronate and then fructose, which are humectants. So not a huge list of other exciting ingredients, but, um, I'm okay with that in a sunscreen because I'd rather them focus on adding all the good filters in as opposed to adding a bunch of other ingredients in there. So especially something like this, where it's supposed to be, be able to be used on hot, sweaty days and things like that. So I'm okay with that. Um, in terms of acneogenic ingredients, we've got three. We've got diethylhexyl sustenate, we've got mistral mistate, and then tea, which is actually just a buffering ingredient. T as in T-E-A. So there you go. In terms of animal testing, so there's so many caveats to it. It's such a complex issue. Uh, some sites differ on this brand. However, that being so, they're still in China. And as far as I understand, they could still lead to animal testing under some certain specific circumstances. You might come to your own conclusion on because other, other brands and things say it's cruelty-free. Uh, so I, make up your own mind with it. This one, that's what it came up to to me in the end. After reviewing some of those sources, I came to the conclusion that it's probably not cruelty-free. But uh, things change with it so frequently and often, which is generally for the better, but it's still 
kind of an iffy area being sold in China. So other people uh, disagree with that and say, you know what, China's done a lot. And if they're sold in China, I trust that they're not going to be animal tested. So make your own decision again. Don't listen to me. Do your own digging and see what you, you think makes sense to you. Um, okay, now you can see it's finally soaked in. Doesn't look as white cast now it's soaked in, but uh, definitely very shiny. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, so this one I like. It feels nice and comfortable during the day. For the most part, it doesn't leave my skin looking greasy, and it doesn't um, accentuate dry patches. Some sunscreens with a lot of chemical filters or a lot of sunscreen can accentuate dry patches. I didn't have that issue with this one. And once I set it with powder for the day, it was pretty good to go for the rest of the day, although it hasn't gotten hot or sweaty, and this one's new, so I haven't been able to really test it on a 90 or 100-degree day, so... Um, that's something to factor in. Um, I do recommend for those with dry screen, dry, dry skin to apply a good moisturizer underneath this that will help prevent it from getting dry from the alcohol. Um, for what this sunscreen promises, it promises to seamlessly glide onto skin, leaving skin feel moisturized. I would agree with that. It glides onto skin easily. It's got a few hydrating ingredients and they're not really enough to do any real moisturizing in my opinion, but um, it's a nice sunscreen. Thankfully, the fragrance in this one wasn't over the top. Um, and you know, honestly, if I would have known that ingredient had been a fragrance ingredient uh, and it was so high up on the ingredient list, I might not have even bought it, which would have been a shame because I really enjoy this one. And uh, next time I go out to a hotter area, I'm bringing this one with me. Um, yeah, so I think this sunscreen will work well for most people except for the most sensitive due to the denatured alcohol and the slight scent. And last but not least, the price. So this is 70 milliliters, 2.5 ounces, and it retails for about $14. So that's a pretty good deal, in my opinion. Um, so with a 15 being a perfect score of this one and 11, it is very nice. It is well worth a try, especially if you're somebody out exercising a lot during the summer uh, where you sweat a lot or in the water. Again, if you're sweating and wiping, be sure to reapply it, but it's still... More water resistant, sweat resistant than a lot of other sunscreens, and I do really enjoy it. So uh, there we go. Interesting hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.